Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will see how to program the UART or the serial communication uh, in APR microcontroller. I am using 80 mega 32. So UART programming is actually very easy. So in this video, I will see both simulation and the uh, hardware programming and I will show you the output. Uh, to do that, we need two functions. Uh, the first function for initializing the UART settings and the second function for sending a character using the UART. Uh, to use uh, UART in APR microprocessor, uh, we need to follow these three steps. The first one is we need to enable the transmitting pin. In this case, we are not receiving anything into the processor. We are just sending data from the processor to the computer. So we just need to enable the transmitter pin and then we need to set the data size and enable writing to the UCR, uh, UC, uh, SRC register and we need to define the baud rate okay so now let's see the data uh, data sheet of 80 mega 32 microprocessor so as you can see the TXEN this pin if we set this pin to high uh, it will enable the transmitting pin and it is located on the UC SRB data register control register so uh, we have set the TXCN pin. Uh, after that, we need to set the data size. So this is located on the UCSRC register. So let's see. Okay, this is the UCSRC register. You can also set the synchronous or asynchronous mode or the parity bit uh, or the stop bit. I am using zero. Uh, uh, I am using one stop bit. So the default is USB S to zero. So we don't need to set it. It is by default set to one bit. Uh, and now we need to set the length of the data. So I am using eight bit data communication to enable eight bit data communication. We need to set these two pins, uh, these two register values, um, uh, these two, sorry, these two bits, uh, UCSR Z zero and UCSR Z one. We need to set both of them to high. So if you see here, uh, these two pins are set as high and if we want to write to the UCSRC register we need to set the UR cell bit uh, as also high okay now we need to define the baud rate so we are using uh, 9600 baud rate so let me show you the formula for calculating baud rate uh, we are using asynchronous normal mode so for asynchronous normal mode, uh, this is the formula to calculate baud rate. So I am using processor frequency of 8 megahertz. Uh, I have also tried with 1 megahertz, but uh, I have no luck. Uh, I got better result with 8 megahertz clock frequency. And uh, now uh, we need to divide it by 16. I'm using this formula. This is for the UBBR value. Let me bring it back. Okay. Now we need to divide it by the baud rate. So our baud rate is uh, 9600. Okay. So the value is 52 and we need to subtract 1 from it. So it is eventually uh, 51. So uh, if we write uh, 51 into the UVB adult register, the processor will know that we are using um, 9600 baud rate. So this is the hexadecimal for 51. You can also write 51. It will also work. Okay. Now uh, we need to uh, set uh, uh, set a function for sending data to the processor uh, uh, from the processor. So how it is work is when one bit is sent and we cannot send another bit until the first one is already sent. So when one bit of one byte of data is sent, the UDRE pin, uh, it is generally high on the UCSR A register. So we are setting a logic that will read the UDRE pin and when it is uh, set to one, 
uh, only then it will move back to the, the second line and here uh, the ch is our data uh, we write the data directly to the UDR register so this way the data will be sent okay so now we are inside the main function here we are taking uh, an array of characters so you know that in C programming we don't have strings we need to take array of uh, characters as a string and the slash n slash r this is for um, uh, uh, this is used for printing a new line uh, let me change the masses so this message will be sent now inside the while loop uh, we are using a for loop to send the data the loop will run until it finds the null character we know that uh, every string has a null character at the end so that the logic is the data should be sent until it reaches the end of the string and the i represents each of the character of the string and after sending the whole string uh, will give a delay of one second okay so this is the code now let's try and compile it you can see build successful okay now first we'll see the simulation so i am simulating it in proteus uh, as you can see i am using 80 mega 32 processor and the tx pin is connected uh, to the virtual serial monitor and here we need to define the baud rate uh, the size of the data bit and this number of stop bit we are using one stop bit okay we also need to set the frequency of the processor we are setting 8 megahertz you can see here are another options are available okay now we need to go to the source code part and here i'll paste the code here uh, inside the project settings we also need to define the speed for the processor this is 8 megahertz okay now let's run the simulation you can see it says hello from avr okay so the simulation works fine now it's time for uh, setting up the uh, the hardware part uh, we'll see it in real time okay uh, i'm using uh, avr development board and uh, you can see here the processor is 80 mega 32 and the pro uh, the programmer this is this part here it is usb asp i'm using usb asp for programming okay uh, now let's open the code folder okay you can see it has successfully detected my processor is 80 mega 32 and you can see the program is connected and the firmware is fully compatible so before you proceed you also need to set the frequency of your microcontroller to 8 megahertz to do that we use this software the avr loader from here we need to select the processor this is 80 mega 32 and click on edit fuses from here uh, you need to select it as uh, external crystal if you have an external crystal or the calibrated internal rc i am using external crystal oscillator and the frequency is 8 to 16 megahertz okay now let's write it okay the field which write is successful now we need to upload the code Okay, the code uploading is successful uh, now let's see the output uh, you can see here a small button this is used to switch between the UART and the programming we are using UART okay. so now let's open the serial terminal and the COM port is already selected it is COM4 the board rate is 9600 and the data bit is 8 we have uh, not used any parity bit and the stop bit is a one okay. okay you can see the output uh, coming from the processor to the computer i hope this video is helpful thank you for watching